right, Dee Dee Catron here again for Donna Downey Studios and the Artist Gang blog. I am uh, doing a five part series on using some art rollers in my mixed media artwork and I'm still going strong on these little canvases and I think they're like, uh, hmm, four inches by four inches. I think that's what they are, four by four. And uh, I did in the end decide that I was painting all of the edges white, that really big, beautiful gallery border that they have, like the thickness. I did end up painting all of them white. So you can see here, that's what I'm working on, covering this whole thing in gesso. I am going to play with a direct application um, of the art rollers with paint. So you'll kind of see me experiment and test that out after I have this whole piece in a very nice like even coat of white gesso. I like to have a um, I don't know a certain type of pristine base when I start depending on what I'm doing of course but just a couple coats all around. Uh, I do also paint the fourth and the fifth one completely white and I don't think I show those two in the video so just so you know when you watch those they I did pre paint them pre-gesso them I should say. Gesso is such a great ground it's such a good base to build upon and and it really like preps any surface so it's pretty cool. Uh, then I am kind of like going back and forth and I'm not exactly sure. I know that I want to apply paint directly to my base with the brayer but I'm nervous about um, how thick the paint is on my roller. So what I'm doing here is spreading some paint out on my jelly plate with a brayer and then I'm running my art roller through it and then I'm spray or and then I brayer it directly to my piece. And after I do it the first time, I'm kind of looking at it and I think it's a little bit stark, like it that it's like heavy gray on the white. So I spray it with water to see what happens, but because the paint is so thin, not a lot happens, and I end up just wiping it off because I'm not I, I'm not loving it. So then I also know that because the paint was really almost dry on my canvas that it will be dry on my jelly plate. So I reapplied it to my jelly plate. And then this time I don't want it to be so dark. So I spritzed my canvas with water. And then I'm gonna run my art roller through the paint again and then onto the background. And you can see now it's quite a bit lighter. And because it the background is wet already, I now have time to actually work with the paint. I can kind of slosh it around a little bit and I could move it and kind of um, push it around and, and I just have more working time with it because I applied it to a wet surface. So super cool and then I thought what if I instead the reason I'm not just like putting a puddle of paint down and then running the art roller through it is because I know that it will make just a big gloppy mess. So I am spreading out the paint and then in this case I have applied it directly to the art roller with a palette knife. And I thought I, I was digging those shapes and I thought maybe they're a little far apart. So then I kind of kept um, putting them down. And then I told my told myself or realized, I guess, that uh, the handle to these rollers was doing me more harm than good in this case. So I ended up taking it off the roller and then I applied paint to it again with a palette knife and then this time I am just stamping it like a stampy, like a stamp or a, um, a clean cushion stamp or, or whatever. And that is turning out pretty nice. I do think now that I'm kind of looking back on it, I don't like that part where <laughs> the that line is a little crooked, but that's okay because in the end I'm happy with the overall pro with the overall product. So kind of get over myself there. I am taking that, this is the gold um, paint by Dina Wakely and I am taking it and just adding a lot of water to it and creating this sort of watercolory effect. It's called an acrylic wash and it's really, really cool and it thins out the paint a lot and just creates like a cool sort of cloudy effect. It's really nice. And I'm kind of running that along in certain areas and, and trying really hard not to cover the whole thing in the acrylic wash because I do like some, I mentioned before, I like white space and so I don't want to cover everything up if I can avoid it. 
Then I'm going to heat that dry and make sure that layer is permanent. The really great thing about working with acrylics is once they're dry, they're permanent. And then you can just keep layering stuff on top. At this point, I, uh, I was loving that the line of the, this is the reptile roller. I was loving that line I was making, so I decided to make a couple more. And then in this instance, it became more of a mark maker, which is cool. It's a really cool mark. And then I have totally drooled over all the other art rollers that are out there. And they have some really amazing patterns. And then they're huge. So that's really cool too, especially when you're working on smaller pieces like this because you're not getting the full effect of the pattern, but you're getting like little pieces of it, which is a whole new experience. It's very cool. And they're such, a, they're such large patterns. They have, like, it just makes them that more usable. It's very cool. Like some stamps are almost too small you know, to have a wide range of use. And that's it. So this one came together fairly easily for me. Did some mark making with the art roller. Pretty exciting. Oh, and some direct application with paint in the background. So thanks so much for joining me. Check out the other videos in this series. There are five of them total. Um, all these, most of these products are, or at least the art rollers and a couple others are available in the Donna Downey's, uh, Donna Downey Studio online store. You can find me, Dee Dee Catron, on YouTube, on Facebook, my website, Instagram. Just search my name. And I'm glad to have you here. Thanks so much. Be sure to check out what the other artists have been doing with their product videos. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.